Welcome to the project Dynamic SME. In this presentation, Paula Dynamica will illustrate the knowledge management tool Internal Communication to the entrepreneur Victor. Hey Paula. Hey Victor, nice to see you. Hmm, Paula, I came to see you as I need your help. So, what's happened? I came to see you to talk about a large problem that is currently occurring in my enterprise. I have come to know that a large amount of my employees is unmotivated and doesn't think that their work contributes to the success of the enterprise. Furthermore, their work order doesn't have a clear structure and I simply don't know how I can solve this problem. Hmm, Victor, let me think. I think you on your side should communicate the strategy to your employees and give them the opportunity to share their opinion about their work. Hmm, I think that's true. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not really doing any of this. Victor, clearly you have to improve the internal communication within your enterprise. Internal communication is the communication within an enterprise, with a focus on the employees. Do not make the mistake and think that this is a very expensive measurement, or that only large companies are able to afford such a system. This would be far from reality. It includes better communication channels, higher quality and more efficiency of the communication among the employees, the board and across the various departments of your company. And Paula, what can you tell me about the advantages that I'll be able to obtain if I apply this instrument? A good internal communication will give you the possibility to not only transmit data, but also values, behaviors, habits and feelings. This will enhance the sense of your workers to belong to the enterprise. It will motivate them to improve their productivity, which lets you stay competitive and puts you in a good position to face changes successfully. For example, when my enterprise began to improve the internal communication, my employees started to exchange more ideas and advices, encouraging learning and innovation. Wow, this is exactly what I've been looking for. But exactly how can I really improve my internal communication? First, you have to determine the needs of information of your workers. For this, you can conduct an internal survey within your company. How to do this is shown by the following. Then you will have enough information to know what you have to communicate and therefore improve the internal communication. There are numerous ways you can do it. For example, in my enterprise, we conduct employee breakfasts. In this method, various employees from different departments and hierarchical levels sit together, randomly. Then, the directors report on various topics, such as the current situation of business, new projects, personal changes, internal and external problems and expectations about the future. Based on this, Victor, we ask our employees to raise their concerns and problems they perceive, as well as provide feedback to solve. Always keep in mind that the information is always accessible by all employees. This is a key in any kind of internal communication. For this, you can use a tool called visual management, for example boards or poster. But in the end, prerequisite to any form of communication you choose to implement is the feedback of the employees, meaning that you closely listen to their opinions. That sounds great, but lastly, Paula, what would you consider important to keep in mind when implementing internal communication in an enterprise? Essential elements of the implementation are your commitment, as well as proper planning. These are required, otherwise the money and time spent will be lost. What matters, furthermore, is not the quantity of the media you use, but the quality, utility and creativity of the messages. For a successful internal communication policy, you must also take into account that the information is transparent and loyal, and that you actively listen to your employees. And what should I keep in mind regarding the use of technology? You should use technology in connection with traditional forms of communication. Only use those that can be accessed by everybody. 
for example email or internet. And anything else? Yes, don't assume that because your enterprise is small, verbal communication is easily to be implemented. Workers usually need a structure and parameters to communicate without fear of consequences. Thank you very much for your help, Paula. You're welcome, Victor. And if you need more information, I have some interesting links here for you. Or you may also access the information on the homepage of Dynamic SME, which also helped me to implement the knowledge management tool.